I Bhuvan Dewe Pute. Glad meeting you all in another beautiful chapter number two, video number four. It's going to be grade ten, general science, motion in a straight line. That's what we have been learning, and today we are going to talk about acceleration in this beautiful session. You will come to know what exactly the acceleration and how to find out that from some equations let's get into the subject now what is acceleration let's understand that one in everyday life we mostly encounter object that move with non-uniform velocity now if you see closely that picture that car is going with the same speed without any changes but when you are walking on the street do you see the vehicles going in same speed for such a long time in a straight line i don't think so the vehicles on our streets will go in this way vehicle moving in a roadway with have to increase or decrease their velocity frequently now in this example also we saw that one in certain area the vehicle was moving faster in certain areas the vehicle was moving slower also so sometimes they have to change their direction also sometimes they have to change their directions exactly as it is now if you see this one the vehicle was going in this direction when it was starting and the direction is changing all through this road and finally you can see that one the direction is not exactly as it was started the result of all these changes is changes of velocity now you saw that the first when it was beginning it was going with the different velocity and when it is progressing it is going with a different velocity and when it is coming closer it is going with a different velocity the following table shows the manner in which the velocity of a body that traveled along a straight line varied with time you have a chart in front of you you can see the time over here from 0 to 1 1 to 2 2 to 3 3 to 4 4 to 5 and 5 to 6 seconds when it is going from 1 0 to 1 second it is moving with the velocity of 0 to 2 and then it's gradually increasing 2 to 4 4 to 6 6 to 8 8 to 10 and then after that 10 to 12 now according to the above data the velocity of the body has changed from 0 meters per second to 12 meters per second during 6 second period so changes in the velocity during 6 second is velocity at the end of the 6 second velocity at the end of the 6 second is definitely 12 minus initial velocity that is zero so you can see what sort of a changes in the velocity during six second now when we are concluding that one when we divide the above velocity change when we divide the above velocity change 12 meters second by the time duration for this change six second we get the rate of change of the velocity so what we are going to do is the rate of change of the velocity is known as acceleration here in this example the rate of the change like you are going to divide that one in a way we are going to do change in the velocity during six second is the in velocity at the end it is 12 and in the beginning zero and divided by this six second now that is the change in the velocity for the 12 second that is known as acceleration that is known as what acceleration 
that is right so we came to know what is that exactly here you go i applied the equation also exactly as it is m is minus 1 and s when you're solving the problem m is minus 2 it will become 2 yes squared meters per second is the acceleration so we came to know how to find out the acceleration and what exactly the acceleration is so the equation says acceleration is final velocity minus initial velocity divided by time to find out the acceleration what do you need the velocity that's final velocity once again that is initial that's going to be divided by time to find out the acceleration now, another thing is there here we will see the acceleration it is the final one it is equals to 12 oh no 18 that is right and the initial velocity is 0 meters per second and the time once again is 6 therefore it will become 3 meters per squared yes now we came to know how to find out the acceleration when there is velocity and time given in the chart now another one is there that is once again here what is exactly happening is the final is 0 and the initial is 12 divided by 4 second here in this case you can find out the answer is minus 3 meters per squared when it is minus 3 meters per squared that says the acceleration had slowed down or acceleration had got the other side for that there is a name called deceleration what is that deceleration opposite to acceleration is deceleration how easy it is to find out the acceleration and deceleration when the velocity and the time is given in this video session we learned about the acceleration and the deceleration and now you know how to find out the acceleration when the velocity and the time is given you can do any equations and you can do any sum as it is bye bye and take care of yourself until we meet again in another beautiful session